Let's now start with the first plugin, which is the so-called WebPilot plugin. This is a plugin that allows us to search the web. Of course, there are many different plugins that all do something that is very similar. And we are going to just demonstrate this with this web plugin. There are many use cases for this. For example, we can analyze the style of a specific web page. Maybe we are a SEO optimizer and we want to extract some keywords from a very high ranking article or we want to analyze just the information in some PDF document. Maybe we want to study about something and then we can just use this to interact with the web. So this functionality is super important. And of course, as a quick reminder, these plugins that we are going to use, they are only available with ChatGPT Plus subscription. So they are a paid feature. And if we have this subscription, we can go to these three dots and then navigate to settings and BIDA. And under BIDA features, we just need to enable the plugins. And then we can only use them, of course, with GPT-4. So we need to select this in this top menu. And below this, we will then see the plugins. So we can click on this drop down. And in here, we can now browse all of the plugins that we have already installed. And if we want to install a new one, we go to the plugin store. And here we now see all of those plugins. So first of all, we have all of the popular ones, the new ones, and then the list of all. And lastly, the ones that we have already installed. In our case, let's just search for this web pilot plugin. So I'm just typing in here web pilot and I can see this is this plugin. And now we will just go ahead and install this to browse the web and PDF and data and see what this plugin can do. So I've just installed this and now I see this is already enabled. We need to make sure this box is checked. And now we can start to interact with specific websites. We will also see an alternative way when we are not using one specific website. But for now, let's just say we have this recipe and we want to find some first information about this recipe. So therefore, we are just going to use this link and say, can you summarize this recipe? Then this plugin is being triggered and it will research this website and then does what we are prompting it. So it will summarize the recipe. And now that we have all of this information extracted from this website, we can of course use this or just interact further with this content and even with this website. So for example, I could say now based on the comments, please check them and provide a list of useful tips and tricks based on the experience of people that they have already cooked this recipe. And then this plugin is again triggered and it will respond with some of these comments that can be found on this website. And now let's say I would like to change something specific in this recipe to be a vegetarian style one. And therefore, I just want to ask ChatGPT to research this page where there are some alternatives and then just adjust the recipe to be vegetarian. So this is pretty great. And we can even use this plugin without even providing a specific link. So we could, for example, just say something like, what is the current population of New York in 2023? So of course, ChatGPT itself doesn't know this information because it's only trained until September 2021. And therefore, greatly, this plugin is also now triggered to get access to these updated information that are available in the web. And now let's have also a look at how we can use this plugin as a copywriter to create really great content, for example, for our website. Let's say we have a website about dogs. We have found a very high ranking article and we just want to analyze this article. We could just copy this link and say, give me a list of the top keywords for this article and the frequency of each used. And then we just provide the link and wait for the response.
And now that we have a good overview of the keywords that are used, we could ask, for example, what is missing from this article and how can we add more value? And then we get just some suggestions on how we could add more value to the reader and create a more comprehensive article. But we can also add multiple links. So for example, I want to say I want to research two different articles and I want to just see what are the differences so that I can find my own style. And I can also add some specific focus categories like for example, depth, style or specific focus. And then we get a detailed comparison also across these different categories, like for example, the depth or the writing style. Speaking about the writing style, this is sometimes very important. When we, for example, want to generate content in a very specific style, let's say we have a website about in this case dogs and this is some article that is on our page and we would like to just generate an article in the same style that we have done before. Then we could just use again this plugin. I want to give instruction to my writer to match exactly the writing style of my website. Please analyze this website and give me detailed guidelines on the writing style of this article so that I can pass it along to the writer to match that style. And then we will get exactly the style analyzed and we can of course then reuse this to give this to another writer or we can also just give it to JetGPT to write an article in the similar style about a topic that we have researched. And of course, we can also use JetGPT to make research for us and suggest some structures and suggest some outlines or do some brainstorming. And as you can see, we get a very detailed list on the style, the structure, the tone of voice. So this article conveys a sense of authority and this is exactly very precise, everything analyzed about the style of an article. And the same we can also do if we have a YouTube channel where we, for example, have some videos and we want to write a script in the exact same style that we are usually doing it. In this case, let's just assume we want to have a look at some of our videos. Let's just use a random the video, then we can use this plugin, which is just the YouTube summary with JetGPT and Cloud. We can just install it. I've already done this. And then we can just copy this script and we can now again do the same thing. Please analyze the style of this video. In this case, I can just add also the information. I want to give detailed instruction to my script writer to write a script in a similar style like my previous videos. Therefore, please analyze the style of the script and give me detailed instructions that I can pass on to my script writer. And then we get these very detailed instructions that now really make sure that we get exactly the content that we want. And of course, we can also use these instructions to give it to ChatGPT to write a script or any other content for us. So with all of this, I hope this was a useful demonstration of this plugin and some of its use cases. And in the next lecture, let's talk about one of my favorite plugins, which enables now mathematical and more complex calculations, which usually is a little bit of a weakness of JetGPT. But with this plugin, we can unlock this power of also being able to do more complex calculations correctly. And this is the Wolfram plugin. That's what we are talking about in the next lecture.